So we're here with the Renaissance. Hi. Hello, my name is Johannes Brücker. Yeah, I'm happy to uh, introduce here our new uh, flagship device. It's the uh, RZ V2H. It uh, 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 has seven ARM cores. Uh, uh, it's a quad-core ARM Cortex A55. In addition, we have a high-performance real-time core, uh, Cortex A8, and a housekeeping uh, um, core, Cortex M33. Uh, but, but the heart of the device is uh, the DRP AI, um, and uh, this DRP AI is the next generation, the third generation of our uh, AI accelerator. Uh, and here we have a unique uh, power efficiency of 10 tops per watt, and this is uh, unique on the market. You can see here this device do not need any heatsink, no van is necessary, and this is uh, really unique. No heatsink, low power for high performance. The right, highest right. performance per watt in yes. the industry? Yes, 10 tops per watt is uh, 10 times uh, improvement uh, to the previous gen generation and also typical uh, comparing to the competition here. How do you optimize for power consumption like this? Yeah, good what do you question. do? So we're basically um, using two uh, uh, new things. Uh, one is uh, uh, changing from uh, floating point 16 uh, to uh, uh, integer 8. This is, uh, doubles uh, um, uh, power efficiency. Uh, and then we have, uh, in addition, the, the so-called pruning technology. Uh, pruning means we thin out the neural network. Um, weights which are not contributing to the accuracy will be set to zero. And with this technology, we can uh, thin out the neural network and uh, yeah, scale up the performance up to uh, 10 times in addition. For example, here we have up to 80 tops in sparse mode or using this pruning te technology. In dense mode with the complete neural network, we have eight tops. And this eight tops is already 10 times the previous generation and uh, 80 tops is an additional 10 times. So really amazing uh, performance uh, and all without any heatsink uh, or, or fan. This is unique on the market. And you said how many cores totally? We, we have seven ARM cores. We have this DRP AI translator. We have an additional uh, OpenCV accelerator for vision pre and post processing. Uh, we have uh, <coughs> GPU, we have video codec, uh, so a really powerful device and anything without heatsink and this is uh, unique for uh, on the market for, for embedded devices. Is this an uh, evaluation board? This is basically the, this evaluation board, this is just for, for evaluation purpose, yeah, right. And, um, uh, and is it available? This is available already, the, the device. How much is cost um, around? This is about a uh, thousand euro. So, so the industry people uh, buy it to develop on this platform? Yes. We have, and of course, uh, partners for, for mass production, so some SPC partners, um, and uh, they, they uh, sell then uh, uh, different form factors in high quantities. The first, uh, first partner is IMDT, uh, which uh, has an uh, SPC and also a system on module device already ready on the market. Uh, additional one uh, will follow over the, uh, the, this year. All right. And what's the target market? Is it something like this or no? It's different. Wow. So here, here is uh, just looking the, the temperature of the chip, and you can see it's below 50 degree. Yeah. Running this high-performance applications, for exa uh, example, here, segment uh, segmentation, uh, we have uh, here. Um, uh, this was post estimation, and, and here we have, for example, segmentation, <coughs> where the objects are, uh, yeah, put into into segments. A uh, typical application is, is, is used, for example, in, uh, in, in others' application where you distinguish between the street and houses and people and so on. And, and these are um, yeah, power uh, or performance uh, heavy uh, applications. And uh, as you can see, we are still below 50 degrees uh, in the temperature. That means no, no heatsink is necessary. Nice. So mass production is already started, 
And as I said, uh, yeah, this is our new flagship device. Begin of next year, we'll, uh, we will introduce a smaller browser, similar performance, but with reduced feature set. What do you think is the target market, the biggest market for this? This is an excellent uh, device for a robotics application. Uh, on the one hand side, you have the viewing, surrounding view. Yeah, we have uh, four cameras, uh, uh, input here, MIPI CSI. And on the, on the other hand, we have real-time um, uh, uh, performance with uh, Cortex-A uh, uh, R8 dual core. Uh, for, for high performance uh, motor control, for, for example, for a robo robotics application. When you said seven core, that means four Cortex A55? Right, four Cortex A55. And then three? Uh, and du du uh, dual core uh, R8 and uh, Cortex M33 for housekeeping, sensoring, and so on. And security and everything? Security, of course, standard uh, uh, security sets or. Uh, uh, as uh, we have in, in uh, all, uh, all these What's devices. all the software support? A lot? Yes, uh, this is very important. So we have a so-called AI SDK, uh, which includes um, uh, a pre-build uh, pre to, to ready to start without any Linux uh, uh, um, uh, knowledge necessary. Uh, of course, we, we, uh, we offer the, the source code, then it's a Yocto-based environment. Uh, what is special, we offer 10 years um, uh, maintenance support. Uh, this is unique on the market. So this is so-called CRP kernel. CRP stands for Civil Infrastructure Program. And here we have 10 years support and maintenance for the kernel. Yeah? And this uh, is very important, especially for industrial customers.